Here's DeFerrin on to the front straightaway. Does nope. Blundell have time to run him down? I think he can close the gap, but he's got to be able to get by him. He's got to be able to make that pass. Keep in mind, they've got this very broad front straightaway that Blundell can use if he has to. Fittipaldi using that left foot braking he's not familiar with. Lights up the front tires. Blundell is right there with DeFerrin. Two weeks ago in Detroit, Blundell missed out on his opportunity for his first career victory when he ran out of fuel with one, one corner to go in the race. And now he has another chance here in Portland. Looking left and right around to Farron. It's a much narrower racetrack because he is on those slick tires. Not only that, it's a narrower racetrack because look at uh, Jill DeFerrin knows it's the last lap. He is not going to give him any ground. And it'll be interesting at the end of this straightaway to see what lines Jill DeFerrin takes. Does he go down the inside and protect his position? Yes, he does. Blundell looks down the inside, three more corners to go, and then he'll have that wide and dry front straightaway. It'll be a drag race on the drag strip here at Portland. Off the corner they come. Oh, it's going to be a photo finish. Blundell, here comes Boisel in third to the line they come. And Mark Blundell takes the victory in his 22nd career start. The Englishman into the win column in PBG kart competition getting Gilles de Ferrin on the straightaway. Team owner Bruce McCaw and the team can celebrate. Only one lap to go next time by. Here comes Blundell. He's got slower traffic ahead and Zanardi behind as the white flag waves. 1.7 miles to go. We've already seen this year when a driver takes his first victory. Greg Moore did it and then came right back and took his second. Brian Herta makes way for the race leaders. Zanardi closing up in red. The trickiest corner on the circuit right there and Zanardi gets closer. I don't think he's close enough on this lap. Nope, this was Zanardi's passing corner. And now the track plays to Blundell's advantage. It narrows down with the marbles offline. Zanardi won't dare step out around him. Into turn number eight, sharp right-hander. Turn nine, Zanardi is there, but I don't think he has enough time. The checkered flag is in the hands of flagman Jim Swindle. Off the corner they come. To the line, Mark Blundell wins his second race of the year. Pure joy for Bruce McCoy and the PacWest team. Unofficially second, Alex Zanardi. Here comes Andre Rivero. White flag for race leader Mark Blundell. Two miles from his third career victory and his third of the season. Vassar still in second, now less than a second behind, but I don't think there's enough time remaining. Into turns three and four. What a story this PacWest team has been this year. And now the thousands of man hours and all the travel and all of the tribulation are worth it. Victory for Mark Blundell, his third of the year the inaugural winner of the Kart World Series 500 at the California Speedway. His first win on an oval, his first at the 500-mile distance, the fourth win for the PacWest team this year, and the team's first on an oval.